We found out from a LinkedIn post that Canoe is showing off its new pickup truck variant of its light tactical vehicle, LTV, at this year's NGA US. National Guard Association of the U.S. General Conference and Exhibition being held through today the 21st at the Reno Sparks Convention Center Reno, Nevada. In a program brochure Canoe describes themselves as a manufacturer of, fully electric, purpose-built vehicles that are perfect for military light tactical and base support functions. They point out current issues and gaps present in available EV transportation methods stating that, most EVs available today are adaptations of existing products and platforms and do not fully achieve the tactical benefits or cost savings that electrification provides. Current military equipment and vehicles do not share a common platform, powertrain, or electrical architecture. That can result in wasteful maintenance schedules, costly additional parts, multiple repair streams and preventable downtime. They go on to sell their biggest advantage as the multi-purpose platform, MPP being a space-saving design that places all critical components and batteries below the body where they are protected by the frame. Of great interest is also that they state all canoe vehicles can be deployed easily using existing military aircraft and equipment, and that the platform can be adapted to meet various military needs. It does appear they have their new LDV-190 there as well with an ambulance livery. In the Sandy Monroe tour video, Tony did state they were looking at many use cases including specifically ambulances. We canoers are enthusiastic about the MPP for numerous reasons. Apart from its exceptional modularity, which includes per cell level battery integration, and the cost savings carryover across the board with each variant, it stands as a fully unified and independent platform. While skateboard platforms aren't exclusive to canoe, Many lack the purposeful design for accommodating diverse variants or have been overly simplified to meet specific price targets. In contrast, Canoe's platform reigns supreme as the most advanced, boasting remarkable versatility, as seen through its numerous envisioned use cases from a sedan to the MPDV. This versatility is further emphasized by Canoe's ingenious approach, allowing for quick top hat swaps within a projected target of a mere six-hour timeframe. This underscores why Tony Aquila, Canoe's CEO, consistently emphasizes that Canoe functions more as an intellectual property hub rather than solely an original equipment manufacturer of electric vehicles. On a side note, we are questioning if what appears to be some kind of bubble skylight is part of the LDV or a perhaps just of something else unrelated to Canoe behind it. Hopefully we'll see other visitors of the exhibit post their photos online. At their booth, Hash 1803. They'll also be sharing information on their modular battery systems, charging and microgrid solutions. We wish they would share that and information about this new variant with shareholders? Other noteworthy items they point to their steer-by-wire system and low center of gravity. Their steer-by-wire systems are the only vehicles out there without any mechanical linkage which uniquely allows their vehicles to be driven from any seating position, enabling product types not possible with conventional designs. With regard to their extremely low center of gravity, they say it mitigates rollovers and aids in maneuverability, stability and safety. Although that is generally true of all electric vehicles, the general public is also woefully ignorant about EVs and championing their safety benefits will always get a thumbs up from us.